Today in our utility trailer, we're going to review and install the Rackham Trailer Cargo Control Expansion Pack, part number PK-OP1. Now here's what our kit is gonna look like once it's installed. Our blower is mounted to a two-piece kit. The top is a simple hook design that'll allow the handle to go down over the hook and even lock into place with the pre-drilled holes that a padlock can go all the way through. As we can see here, it's a fully welded steel construction with a really nice hammered powder coated finish. Supplied with the install kit is all the necessary hardware for securing our mount to the rail. While our top hook is providing the security for keeping our blower in place, the bottom mount has pre-drilled holes on each side that will allow you to use a securing fastener, whether it's a ratchet strap, pull strap, or even a bungee cord, so that it holds the bottom of the blower tight to the upright rail in the mount so it doesn't swing around when traveling down the road. Now to remove our blower, no matter what fastening style we use, we'll simply just take it off by unhooking it out of the bottom mount. Set it aside out of the way. Now if you have a lock in, you'll want to remove it from the top mount. And we can simply take our backpack blower, lift it up and off of the top mount. And we're ready to use it or put it up for storage at the end of the year. Now here we have the trimmer spool rack. It will accept up to three and even five pound spools. It is spring loaded to help hold our spool in place so it doesn't spin and come free, allowing extra string to come out when traveling down the road. Really nice feature about our upright rails is it allows the versatility of the kit because of all the pre-drilled holes that match up with the mounting brackets. Now our water cooler mount not only gives us a nice, easy place to mount our water cooler that's easily accessible, but it has two convenient pull straps for quick and easy mounting and removal. All right, here we are with our utility trailer and we've got our uprights already installed. We're ready to install the OP1 kit. This is a three piece kit. We're gonna start with the water cooler bracket. Now our water cooler bracket will come with the necessary hardware for attaching to our rails. We'll go ahead and take the nut off and remove the two bolts. and line up our pre-drilled holes here with the pre-drilled holes in the upright rails. Then go ahead and reinstall our fasteners. Once I have both bolts in place, we'll just reinstall the nylon lock nuts. Next, let's move to the trimmer string spool holder. Now our spool holder, if we turn it around, also has two nuts and two bolts for securing the fasteners to the rails. Now when choosing to install your kit, the order or location which you choose is solely up to the user. As the pre-drilled holes in the rail will allow us to put it in any order that fits our needs. All right, now we've got the fasteners loosely installed. Let's move to our second upright rail. On our second upright rail, we're gonna install our backpack blower mount. I'm gonna start with the top first. Here in the top, we've only got one bolt and nut for securing, but there are two pre-drilled holes. That second pre-drilled hole could be used for a padlock for securing your backpack blower to your rail. Now with my bolt and nut in place, that holds our top mount. Let's go ahead and secure the bottom mount. The bottom mount is going to have two bolts and nuts, just like our other attachment points on the other rail. So we'll go ahead and remove our hardware, line it up, and secure it. All 
All right, now with all our hardware in place, let's go ahead and tighten it down. And just like that, you're now ready to install your equipment. Let's go ahead and start with our cooler. We can go ahead and slide the securing straps over the outside of the cooler. And once we have it in place, take our strap and pull it tight. That'll really hold that cooler nice and tightly. We don't have to worry about it going anywhere while we travel down the road. Now let's go ahead and mount our trimmer spool. To start, we'll remove the wing nut here on the end and the split lock washer. We have the securing arm. We'll simply slide the rod through the outer bracket so that we can tilt it away. We're gonna remove the metal washer and rubber washer Bring in our stringer spool, slide it onto the rod, reinstalling the rubber and metal washer. Then go ahead and line it back up, pushing the rod back through the outer bracket, installing our L bracket, split lock washer, and then our wing nut. Now our string can go through the bracket where it'll help hold it in place while we travel down the road. Now our backpack blower is another real simple install. We'll open up the top hook, hook it around the top handle, and let it set in place. Now, to secure the bottom so it's not swinging while we're traveling down the road, you can use a bungee cord. We're gonna use a pull strap that will simply hook into the bottom mount, go around the bottom of our blower, and hook in on the other side, just like we did the first side. Then we can just pull it tight. There we go, now our backpack blower is secured to the blower mounting system. And there you have it for the review and install of the Packham Trailer Cargo Control Expansion Kit, part number PK-OP1.